we are convened here today to respond to the crisis that is facing this country uh, today, which is the Corona virus uh, crisis. And uh, we are responding as the county assemblies of this country, uh, mainly in response to the presidential directive and further to the advisory from the Ministry of Health uh, of the national government. And uh, what we are saying as the county assemblies forum is that following the presidential decree made on Sunday, that is March 15, 2020, in a press release following the confirmation of more two cases, of uh, infection by the coronavirus in Kenya and the recommendations made by the cabinet secretary in the Ministry of Health on March 15, 2020, the County Assemblies Forum recognizes the weight of the matter and supports this decree made by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta. The Forum recognizes fully the gravity of the matter at hand and the devastation it has it can cause, which many countries around the globe are experiencing already, to human beings and the economies thereof. We have monitored, evaluated, and taken this matter very seriously and wish to advise our assemblies, our honorable members in the assemblies, the staff, and the communities that we work for, that the coronavirus poses very grave danger to our members and staff working at the county assemblies, and indeed, the communities that they serve. Number two is that all the county assemblies across the country will suspend the assembly sittings and operations from tomorrow, that is Tuesday, the 17th day of March 2020, for the next 15 days, in order to reduce the possibility and impact of the virus, except those who remain in office who are dealing with very crucial matters and in those who are in service departments who may still uh, be in office uh, because they will be required to work. As we wait for the Health Tax Force and the Ministry of Health, uh, which continues to monitor and advise on the next steps to be taken by both the private and public entities. We encourage assemblies to allow their staff from the various assemblies to work from home and ensure that they did tasks on their desks the dockets are completed without a delay as they work from home where necessary. We only have the staff that must remain in the assemblies, remain so. That before the assemblies close their operations as above, it is as advised that to move at, uh, at a debate motions of counter importance and craft the possible ways of dealing with the pandemic as they retire temporarily from their usual duties in the assemblies. The assemblies are also requested either through their committees of general oversight, the whole house, or otherwise to engage their respective CECs for health services, for in-depth briefing on the level of preparedness of their counties to deal with the pandemic. And finally, in order not to leave anything to chance, we advise that all county assemblies observe very high standards of hygiene, as this is a very contagious disease, and to ensure that we avoid uh, personal contact and prevent the spread as much as possible. All assemblies must provide all the necessary materials that will enable prevention, including water and soap, hand sanitizers, and any other materials that support prevention to ensure the safety of members, staff, and the community that will interact with the assembly offices to curb the spread of the virus. We will review and monitor the situation and advise accordingly once this directive is revised and further guidance shall be given.